card behaviour keywords. These are keywords which affect how the cards actually are used and move around uh, the playing area. The default keyword is play to deck. Uh, because this is a default keyword, it doesn't appear on the cards, it just means that when no other keywords apply, this is what happens. And play to deck means exactly what it says when you use a card such as the Brawn card, which has no behavior keywords on it, it goes back to the character's deck and will at some point return to the pool with flow. But when you play it, it goes play to deck. The, that is the most common um, keyword which comes up for card behavior. The second most common keyword is the rotate keyword. And if we look here on the pistol, it has the rotate keyword. So does the pistol expertise keyword um, card. And that simply means that when these cards are played, they don't return to the deck, they rotate. Um, they move through 90 degrees. And when they're in this position, they cannot be used again. They can be turned back, um, spending one flow, you can turn your card back from the rotate position, or at the start of your next turn they will come back automatically. The next uh, behaviour keyword is the static keyword. This just indicates that the card goes into the static pool rather than the dynamic pool. A card which doesn't say static on it can't go in the static pool. Then we have the persistent keyword. This is a very powerful keyword um, and only appears rarely uh, because when the persist a persistent card is used, it stays exactly where it is. So it's only used for things which keep working regardless. There's no resetting time, there's no thinking time associated with them. They're always there, which armor is <clears throat> the main example. So armor is persistent, so when I play the armor card to defend myself, it's there ready for the next blow immediately, it doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere. Other, um, other behavior keywords include um, the discard keyword. Now, when I fire the gun, the each bullet is discarded. Now, this card doesn't actually say discard on it, it says ammo. And that's because ammo is a keyword which incorporates discard and a couple of other features. So, when a, if a discard card like this is used, it goes into the discard pile. Um, other keyword important is um, discard and recover. So, I swap the gun out and put in the throwing knife. It has the discard and recover keyword. That means when I use the card, um, it goes into the discard pile. But unlike other cards, by using one flow, I can recover it back to my deck. This is for items such as throwing knives, where the user, um, where the person might, there's got to be a cost to obviously throwing it. You need to go and recover that knife or draw another knife. So the discard and recover sort of adds an extra cost on getting the card back into play. The final keyword is an unusual one, which is flip. Uh, the flip keyword means that when I use this card, I rotate it 180 degrees. And this, I do this um, before I actually need it. So. I effectively activate the card by flipping it 180 degrees. Now, this is a native stealth card, so if I was required to make a, um, a check to see whether I'm being noticed or any sort of hide skill check, I would be able to use that card. Now, while it's flipped, this card can be used as many times as I want it. So if 100 people are looking for me, I get to use this card 100 times. However, at the end of, um, at the start of my next turn, a flipped card goes back to my deck. So obviously I'd have to spend a flow to put it back in and then activate it again if I wish to keep on using it. 
those are the major card behavior keywords. There are one or two other um, special ones as well, but they are the ones you're most likely to come across.